The Catholic Church, like many world religions, has found itself at a crossroad, which in turn is forcing the Archdiocese of Seattle to change with the times. We have been looking at data and the trends for the Archdiocese. That's Chief Operating Officer Caitlin Molding, and the numbers show they have to take action. Part of what we want to do is to create the systems and the programs and models that call young people back to church. From 2010 to 2019, the Archdiocese of Seattle says there was an 11% decline in mass attendance, 30% fewer baptisms, and an 18% decline in Catholic weddings. On top of that, they currently have 80 pastors throughout Western Washington and expect that number to drop to 66 by the year 2036. Caitlin tells me those numbers, however, don't paint a full picture of what's happening on the ground. We definitely have some parishes that have grown and are really vibrant in terms of their faith outreach and their social justice programs and so on. And then we have others that are, have really shrunk um, based on the demographic in that community. The Partners in Gospel Plan will allow parishes to combine, at least two if not more, and then those parishes will make decisions on things like closing certain churches to alleviate financial strain. By bringing two or more parishes together, we're able to pool those resources and invest in all the things that make somebody's faith really live on a day-to-day -day basis in a more vibrant way. While the Partners in Gospel Plan is a way to keep the Archdiocese of Seattle in the black, Caitlin says there's a benefit for the community at large since they provide a lot of social services. We have six parishes today that offer immigrant um, support for families from Ukraine and from Afghanistan, services for the homeless, food banks, um, refugee and immigrant support. The partners in Gospel Plans expected to take about a year and a half. In the fall, they will have come up with a draft that will include which parishes could combine, which churches could close, then get feedback from the community. And they're hoping to have everything finalized by the summer of 2024.